Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is difficult to cure mental health conditions caused by experiencing a traumatizing event. PTSD patients suffer from various symptoms from recurring flashbacks, anxiety, and negative alteration in cognition. Currently, various treatment options such as antidepressants or cognitive behavioral therapy are used to treat PTSD. However, the medications have drawbacks of delayed action, and therapy is not effective in half of the patients. Even in the case of successful therapy cases where PTSD return, which is called spontaneous recovery, is common. Researchers at the Institute for Basic Science decided to tackle this problem by its roots by elucidating the molecular mechanism of PTSD treatment. For this purpose, they tested a PTSD trial drug called Nix783 in mice and examined the molecular mechanism of its actions. First mice were habituated to an environment and subjected to a combination of a tone and electric shock for fear conditioning to induce PTSD. Some of the mice were exposed to multiple stressors to induce single prolonged stress before the fear conditioning. This is because stressful experience before fear conditioning is well known to cause further difficulties in PTSD treatment later on. The mice were then placed in a new environment and subjected to a series of memory extinction procedures in an attempt to remove their traumatic memories. Mice were injected with either a drug or saline one hour before treatment with these extinction steps. Mice were then monitored for freezing behavior upon hearing the same sound in order to measure the level of fear that they are experiencing. It was confirmed that mice injected with Nix783 fared much better than those injected with ketamine or saline controls. To explore the mechanism of this successful treatment these experiments were next repeated in conjunction with genetic manipulation. The mice's brains were also dissected and brain slices were examined. These were some of the key findings. Nix783 inhibits fear memories and suppresses spontaneous recovery of those memories by modulating NMDA receptors, specifically by acting on the GLU-N2B portion. The efficacy of the drug disappeared if the receptors were knocked down in glutamatergic neurons in the medial prefrontal cortex. However, the performance of the drug was not affected when the same receptors were knocked down in GABAergic inner neurons. It was found that knocking down the NMDA receptors in the inner neurons alone was capable of reducing spontaneous recovery. This is most likely through reducing the inner neurons inhibitory effects on the main neuron. Lastly, it was found that brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is highly important for synaptic plasticity, is necessary for the extinction of memory. Removal of BDNF blunted the effect of Nix783 on inhibition of the spontaneous recovery in most cases, it is hoped that these discoveries will aid in the development of new PTSD treatment through modulation of NMDA receptor activity. This video was provided by the Institute for Basic Science. Please support us by liking our videos and subscribing to our channel. For more information, please visit our homepage, Facebook, or Twitter in the links below.